Hi everyone. So I wanted to show you what I came up with. Uh, I wanted to put my Petrus Pearl inside so that I can enjoy it in my window, but Vincent, my kitty, enjoys my succulents too. He likes biting on them, so I figured I'd make a cloach, which is just like a cover um, for, for my plant. I mean, this is a 99 cent store wire uh, basket that I decided to make into a cloach and I'm going to be using my <laughs> brass singing bowl. Um, it doesn't mind because it's for a positive good um, purpose and just a roll of paper towel so that I could shape it from the top. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all along the line from the top, just the top line and then cut the bottom here. Um, you could leave the bottom if you want it straight like that, but I want it to flare out a bit. So it's as easy as that. And what I'm going to use is just some snips. And you could leave it open from, um, from the top. Just gather it and leave a little opening at the top and just put a little piece of string. Um, or put uh, some type of a disc on there, decorative disc with a finial. But um, yeah, or you could just go ahead and use the spare uh, top that you're going to be cutting off and just cut a circle and just kind of weave it in there into uh, into the top to close close it and use some some, some uh, you know soft wire that you can bend easily to kind of secure that in there. Basically here I've snipped off most of the top. It's just hanging on by a few here at the back. And I have these pliers. These are uh, snips metal snips that work pretty good and then these just little pliers that cut the wire too and uh, yeah use whatever works for you and um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and detach the top and then I'll show you how I form it and the bottom is pretty much the same thing you just snip all the way all along the line and then just form it so okay, so pretty much here I've gathered it together and you're gonna see creases here and that's fine I think that adds to the charm but basically I use both hands, one on each side to kind of shape it and push it together. And it's pretty pliable. Um, you can also use chicken wire for these things, but I think this is a little uh, less expensive actually and uh, more finished look. And you can always spray paint these any color you want. But yeah, if you wanted to leave it open, you can leave it like that. Just You can make it smaller by pinching it together even more and just make sure that you're keeping the shape. This uh, You can use a bowl if you don't have a singing bowl like I do. Um, and yeah, that gives it the form. And like I said, this bottom part, you can actually um, leave that in or just take it off. And I'm going to take it off so I can show you how it looks flared. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just tie a little string from one side to the other. And you're all set. You have a, a cloach to, to protect your plants if you have pets that get at them. Or it's just a decorative, pretty Victorian-ish look to... Um, to your plants and this one will probably take a um, it, it won't take a huge pot I'm, although it does fit on top of a pot a larger pot if your plant is not too tall um, but it's mostly to protect um, a smaller a smaller plant so I'll go ahead and show you a picture of the Petrus pearl that I put in here um, in my kitchen all right well this guy's not supposed to be on here but just to show you that he is curious about this. This is not Vincent, this is Toulouse. And um, this one here I left with the bottom. I didn't snip the bottom, um, but let me show you. See, you can't really get to it, so that's great. Hey, Toulouse, get down from the kitchen counter. Oh my goodness, they just get away with stuff when I'm recording. Toulouse. And I didn't really embellish the top or anything yet. I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and refine the top. But this one I used a spare piece of mesh to kind of weave it in there. And um, just put a little piece of rope on there. And um, yeah, that way they can't get to them. And here, uh, Vin, uh, not Vincent, but Toulouse is demonstrating. I'm not going to keep them on top of this pedestal. I'm going to put it in my window where this doesn't shift. You know, because this they could just knock it down on the floor trying to get it. So... Yep, that's the struggle. If you have uh, critters in your home, you know that you have to 
keep your plants in. And I decided to bring that one in. Hey, no. It, see, it doesn't really fit at the top, and oh, I really don't want to cover it. It's so pretty, but they can't, they don't jump on that um, little island that I have, so it should be okay. Well, here it is. I think it looks great, and I think it'll keep my kidders out so that they don't bite the succulents because, uh, yeah, Vincent loves messing with my succulents, and I really want to enjoy he's inside here. I mean, they've learned that you don't mess with cacti because they mess back. So they've been leaving those alone. But this one, if they have soft spines or whatever, like this little one here, they already cut that one down. But they learned. They didn't like it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think this is a great way to protect your, your plants if you have pets and you want to have some stuff inside. This will hold a little pot. This is probably uh, like a six inch circumference little pot and it's probably like mm, three inches tall. So, and it has plenty of room, so it, it could grow a little bit taller. And yeah, it looks very cute, kind of Victorian-ish. If you try it, just let me know how it turned out. And um, again, thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, and welcome to the new subscribers. Talk to you later.